Hello everyone, uh, this is Lee Pace from Plano, Texas. We're going to demonstrate an MPFL reconstruction today using the Knee Fiber Tac product line. Let's go over all of the instrumentation for this procedure. First off, we have two hybrid fiber tacks, each are 2.6 millimeters. The suture anchor comes with one pre-converted knotless loop and one sliding suture with needles. Both sutures are 1.3 millimeter suture tape and unique to this product line is they come with distinct colors that make suture management quite easy for open procedures. In addition, we have the 2.6 millimeter drill as well as the knee fiber tack drill guide. We also have a tightrope 2 RT tightrope. We have a 6 millimeter drill as well as a 4 millimeter spade tip beef pin. Okay, so here we are on the knee. This is a left knee. So this is the medial aspect of the patella, and this is roughly over the femoral insertion of the MPFL. So these are the two incisions that we're going to make. And so we'll start and we'll make these incisions. So we're dissected down here, and you can see right here, this is the medial border of the patella. Right here, the joint will be just deep to us like that. And then this is up on the anterior surface. So we're going to place our fiber tack anchors right here and here. And so we'll go ahead and do that next. So we've got the drill guide up against the medial patella. We're going to go ahead and drill. That will hold our position. And we'll place our anchor here. And give a little bit of counter tension on the lateral side of the patella. Hold our angle, and this should just go right in. And then take that off. And then start unthreading the sutures. And then we can just pull the anchor out of the drill guide and out of the patella, just like that. We'll set the anchor. So we'll take our, you can see we have the blue suture tape as well as the black. And so we're going to set the anchor by pulling on the black suture tape just like that. And you can see that that's got a very solid fixation point. So now we've placed our second, more inferior anchor. And now we've got both of them draped off to the lateral side that we'll use later. So now we're going to come and we're going to make our incision over our uh, femoral insertion of our MPFL, which will be a little bit farther down on the medial aspect of the knee here. So we'll go ahead and we'll make this incision. And we'll take that right down to bone. And then we can get our spade tip beef pin. We're going to place that next. So we have our four millimeter spade tip beef pin here. And what we've done, we've, we've identified that the femoral insertion of the MPFL, which is that little saddle region between the epicondyle and the adductor tubercle. And on fluoroscopy, this would be Shotley's point. I tend to like to place this in the posterior aspect of that so that when I create my six millimeter tunnel, the graft tends to sit anterior. So if I purposely cheat my tunnel just a little bit posterior, it ends up putting the graft right in the center of the femoral insertion of the MPFL. And we'll drive that across and bring it out the skin of the lateral knee. Just like that. This is our six millimeter low profile reamer. And we'll take this you know, at least 50 millimeters across just to give yourself plenty of room to place the graft. Okay. Next thing we're going to show here, this is the new fiber snare with a two inch loop on the end. You can use the eyelet on here, but you can also pass this through and then use this to bring your tightrope through. So we'll load this up on the eyelet and we can go ahead and pull that through. So here is our tightrope two. You see it's got the suture tape loop. We've got it loaded up through the mid portion of our graft. And so what we're going to do is we are going to load these sutures up into the fiber snare and then bring that across, dock 
the button on the lateral femur and then shorten up the loop just enough to where we have, you know, 10 millimeters or so of the graft in the femoral tunnel. We'll bring this through. And this is another opportunity for fluoroscopy. So you can sort of watch the button through the femur. And then once you have it just prominent on the lateral cortex, then you can sort of flip the button and pull it back. Here we're going to go by feel. And there we are. We're uh, now docked on the lateral femoral cortex. And so now I'll apply just a little bit of back tension on this. And then we're going to shorten the loop just to bring the graft into the femoral tunnel. We're tensioning it in. We're going to pull it in about a centimeter or so. And so that's good right there. So we'll stop. And now you can see we're docked in the femoral tunnel here. Now what we're going to do is we'll dissect down, bring these limbs of the graft up, secure them on the patella, and then we'll do any final tensioning of the graft back on the femur. And then we'll take this, take the, our, our sutures on the free ends of the graft, grab those, pull those up, just like so. We've got our V-shaped graph up here. You can see we've got lots of length to work with here. We're going to pass one limb of the graph through both loops here, and then we're going to do the same thing on this side, like that, and then we're going to close down these pre-converted loops, and that's going to secure our graft on the patella. So we have our two loops here and here. So I'm going to go from bottom up, I'm going to go through each loop like this. We're going to pull this graft down through there like that. And then we'll go from top down and do the same thing with the other limb. And now we have those like that. And now what we can do is we can now start tightening, closing these loops. So we can kind of just hold them like this and this, and we can just start just pulling them down. And now we have got that retracted here so you guys can see, you know, what this looks like. And we can go ahead and just kind of keep tensioning these down. You can see how we basically just tension each graft down. And I'll just kind of pull some tension like that on the graft ends. And there we go, just kind of closing both those loops down to secure that graft on the patella. So you can see that looks, that looks really good there. Both of these are really tight. We've got the appropriate spread between each anchor. And you can see all this extra graft that we've got here. So now we can come out here and now we can determine if we want to do anything more to our tensioning on our femoral side. Like if we're happy with this amount of play, then we could be done. But, you know, we obviously want to err on the side of having more slack at this point. So that then we can come back and tension up right here to get our final tension and set our working length of our graft. So if we think that we want to do a little bit more, then we can you know, give a little, couple more tugs on this, although this is feeling pretty good right now. And now we can cut this excess graft off, and then we can use these sutures here with the needles to repair the retinaculum. So we'll cut excess graft. And then we can cut our blue sutures. And now we can take a needle driver and we can close this retinaculum. And when we're closing this retinaculum, we can even further secure the graft. And we can pass our sutures through the graft, just like this. And then we can tie this. And there you can see that just cinches that back up. Adds a little bit extra security to the graft.
and we'll cut those. And there we have an onlay MPFL reconstruction on the patella with a socket tightrope fixation on the femur.